Hello YouTube, Kaiju Productions, back here with another video after what seems like forever. And I just want to say, first and foremost, that I'm sorry for not uploading in such a long time. This video should have come out, you know, a couple months ago. This video really shouldn't have to come out. You know, I should have been posting and uploading and all that when I told you guys that I would. And I didn't. Um, I just let other things in my life, of course, that are more important than YouTube, take the priority. And that was a decision that I needed to make, that I wanted to make, and that even if you guys felt like you were being, you know, neglected with videos, <laughs> I still needed to take a break from YouTube. And I don't know how long the next break will be because I'm not gonna be on YouTube uploading, I don't think that much, but I'll see. Um, I definitely definitely have some stuff in the works right now, videos that I want to make, and um, I'm gonna start dabbling back, you know, in, in some film type of things with some friends, and hopefully, you know, getting some content out there for you guys again. Um, there's some Godzilla videos on the way for you guys, some stop motion, some bots versus cons, definitely on the way. But I think one of the things that I want to talk about today is why a YouTube comeback is more difficult to do than a lot of us really think that it is. Um, or, you know, why a YouTube comeback can be more difficult than we think it really is. I know there are a couple YouTubers off the top of my head that I have followed for a while, you know, that have been followers of my channel since the beginning that have had to take breaks. And, you know, they've even made the same videos that I have before. You know, I've taken breaks and it's always been, hey guys, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back. And I've done that a couple times and I know those same YouTubers have too. And I'm not gonna name drop. You know, I'm not gonna do that. It's just we have things in our lives going on inside of YouTube that we need to tend to. And we need to be there for, like me with school. You know, that's a big thing for me. Um, me with my plans after school. You know, like, like after I graduate, you know, those are approaching fast. And those are plans that I wanna deliver on. And then we have other interests. Like my channel is mainly about Godzilla and Nintendo. And Transformers. Now, I do wanna put more attention to Nintendo. But another thing is, guys, you know, I have things outside of YouTube that I don't share on YouTube, of course, and, you know, that I don't really care to. And that's okay. You know, and one of the things that I'm also interested in, you know, is music. I do a lot of music collecting, and I, I like buying a lot of CDs and listening to a lot of music. So I spend a lot of free time listening to music and, you know, doing various things and researching things and, you know, again, doing schoolwork. But... Back to the main topic, a lot of us have a harder time coming back to YouTube, and I think it's for one main reason, and it's because we don't think that even in our best efforts to come back, we don't think that we can live up to how we used to do things and our old videos and some of our best videos. I know there are videos that I made in the past, like a Lego Godzilla stop motion, which, you know, when I first made it, I was, you know, I thought it was great. And then I went on and I started getting better at stop motion. And I was like, man, you know, that video doesn't look quite as good as my new ones. You know, so I didn't think it would pull in that much traction. But it turns out to be, I think, my most popular video on my channel. You know, so there are just those types of videos and those, those types of things where it's like, we don't think that we can live up to that hype. We don't think we can live up to the, you know, quality of content that we necessarily want to. And I mean, I have no problem trying to make quality content, and I think that I do. It's just that I don't think my content that I'll make now, since I don't have that much time, you know, I think it'll be rushed, is what I'm trying to say. You know, I don't have that much time to spend on it like I did, you know, back in the 8th, the ninth, and the 10th grade. You know, I, didn't have, I don't have all that time now to just dump into making a stop motion, which will take a couple hours to do, at most, for a 30 second video. You know, like an hour for maybe a 30 second video sometimes, you know, with editing and like getting the lighting right and, you know, color correcting and, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, going into longer videos like the Boss vs. Cons videos take a long time to make, you know, for a one minute, two minute video because you have to do all the transformations. You got to go in, you got to speed them up. I really have to make a video one day editing one of those episodes just to show you guys. Lord Midas Productions. He makes stop motion videos. He makes far better stop motion videos than I do. And he will probably tell you that it takes a long time. It takes a lot of effort. And I know he's had to put his projects on the back burner. He's had to put his YouTube channel on the side because he has bigger priorities in life. And that's okay. You know, and I hope you guys understand that. 
that if I don't immediately come back to YouTube, it's not a bad thing. And I know that I have made the videos again, you know, promising, hey guys, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back time and time again. And I've not lived up to that hype. I've not met my expectation, my goal that I've set for myself. And that's just because I've had other things going on that I wanna put more effort into. And, you know, whereas I do wanna put a lot of effort into YouTube and there's a lot of great things that I wanna come, they'll come in time, but they won't be immediate and a comeback won't be immediate. And I want you guys to understand that. So that's just a little video updating you guys. And, you know, I hope you guys continue to watch this YouTube channel. I know my most, most previous video didn't have that many views or likes or anything, but even one is, is better than nothing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you just kind of heard me out. This is Kadri Productions, signing off.